Founded in 2012, Vasi Shipping Private Limited provides ocean freight management services, specializing in the movement of fertilizers, minerals and chemicals. With a mission to be a leading freight and logistics service provider, caters to the trading and shipping community in Asia and beyond. My full name is Venkat Padmanabhan and my name of my company is uh, Vasi Shipping Private Limited. The company was started in 2012, January, as a means of uh, trying to promote global shipping solutions and offering freight management services to people who need them. I was born in Delhi when he was posted over there and uh, continued my education in Delhi. My father was a civil servant. Uh, he was in the Indian Police Service and he was the first uh, pure science doctorate in the Indian Civil Service way back in 1956. He always wanted to me to join the civil services. By that point in time, my C was my calling, so I joined C. Shipping actually at, at that point in time required only a person to be a high school graduate. The idea was catch them young, train them in the profession and uh, so that they're fully wedded to the profession. So I decided that at a very young age that I will ensure that I finish all my examinations and get my promotions at the earliest so that uh, the, I'll be able to, once I get married, I'll be able to take my wife on board. And therefore, I had taken a decision not to get married till I got, uh, got my command. When you're at sea, you are at times quite alone, at facing the rigors of the sea, and which actually brings about who you are at the end of the day. To be at that position where it may be a life and death situation also, you need to take decisions. You need to show leadership qualities at that point in time, which is what makes a person out of you. I got my command and uh, after marriage uh, I, I was able to sail with my wife from day one and it was sim simply like an extended honeymoon because we used to join the ship and leave the ship together. There was no point in time where we were separate from each other. Then I left sailing because that was the time I wanted to be in a position to bring up the children rather than being an absentee father and so we decided to uh, step ashore when we decided to have children so that we both could enjoy bringing them up. Uh, together and uh, then subsequently when I took up a short job when I wanted to take up a short job it was always my interest to join the civil service again or a quasi government service where I could uh, rise up to the top and uh, when I did join I joined uh, Chennai Port Trust uh, with the aim single I would say a single minded aim of rising to be the chairman of the port well I aimed for that I got it and I was the fastest rising uh, pilot initially. Then subsequent to that, uh, I was not very happy with the way the government service was uh, turning out to be. And especially in India, one of, the, uh, one of the reasons which I felt would be a hindrance was the caste politics which is played once you rise up the hierarchy. So I felt that it is time that I, I got out of the service before I got stuck in that situation. So that's when I stepped out into the commercial field of shipping. I, I was employed in a, in a company in India which posted me to Singapore, into the trading company here. And I had the occasion to be here for about four years. It just so happened that in 2010, when I decided to step out uh, of my comfort zone, so-called, I uh, there were some well-wishers who, who encouraged me and said they were willing to outsource their shipping operations to me. Then subsequently, uh, there's a person with whom I work, Mr. Bhushan Rao. He helped, he supported me in my endeavors and he's the one who gave me my first break. And that's, and I still am with him in, uh, he's my strong supporter in my business as of now and a shareholder also. The idea came up as, as in all of us, we tend to work with people. We are trying to work in organizations. We, the best advantage of working in organizations is to get the best out of the organization, to get the best practice out of the organization. And you do tend to realize that there are certain things that the organization is not doing, which the organization could have done. And when you're not in a position to influence that, you then tend to take a decision as to that's not the right place for you to be. And I do feel that many times the organization, the if you have the inclination 
to do something about learning those best practices is to a implement in the organization in which you are or alternately if you do in, uh, step out if you have the guts to step out most of us are very happy getting the monthly income a monthly check inside but if you have the guts to step out then implement those best practices in your own industry our main philosophy was there are a lot of people who require shipping services in order to ha have shipping service there are two ways of getting it employ people to have the shipping expertise or alternately use outsourced uh, companies who have the expertise to provide and who are confidential enough to maintain the information at that point in time i felt that there was a need where a lot of people demanded or required the services and they were doing it themselves so i felt that at that point why not show our services to them and have it outsourced to ourselves and provide the service at a fee to as a nominal fee which will help them also to grow at the same time help us to grow the name of my company actually is the uh, initials of my family and i i i felt that most of us uh, would like to promote the family as a platform no doubt at that this point in time none of my family is in any way connected to the shipping industry but having said it helps in uh, encouraging them also to do what they want to do in life in other words it has its meaning in quran as all per per pervasive it has the in icelandic language and italian language it also means a vessel so in all terms something shipping related i'm quite happy with the way the way the business has progressed uh, mainly because it or the support given by the well wishers and more importantly i we feel that we are in a position to deliver the services which people require there is a uh, a uh, strong dearth of such services and uh, we feel that we are well placed to be providing these services to our clients my plans are uh, uh, quite straightforward have a business which is sustainable and any business which, which has to be sustainable you must build your building blocks in such a way that they are capable of taking care of themselves and you do not unnecessarily waste resources in uh, pursuing a uh, uh businesses which are not going to be uh, sustainable we are not in it for the short term we are in it for the long term by virtue of that we need to ensure that the business is self sustaining and sustainable in the long run coming to 2020 uh we have we are providing what we provide today is services and these services we feel that we also provide the hardware so that we provide better services there is a value addition that we need to provide our clients and that is the value addition that we have to give as you know that i i come from a civil service family a government family and we don't have any entrepreneurs or businessmen in in our in our lives having said as a first generation entrepreneur there have to there has to be people who will who have to support you in your ventures and i'm very grateful to those who have supported me in our in my venture and Uh, whatever i am today whatever we are going to be uh, in the future a lot of it goes to their support and guidance in this i always firmly believe that you must follow your passion you must be really passionate about what you want to do so in order to succeed in what you want to do at the same time you must not be a run of the mill kind of a thing you have to show value addition and this value addition is something which in today's world and scenario you have to provide so budding entrepreneurs today should follow their passion and once they're passionate about it definitely their best will come out of it make your best efforts and don't leave anything to chance of course there are a lot of things which happen otherwise we then you don't have much of the control on a lot of factors but having said within the parameters that you have do the best that you can